I'm playing around with this camera. I got a new camera yesterday. Well, I ordered it yesterday and it came today. And so I'm playing around with it. I was playing around with my dad's old camera yesterday. It's a very old camera. I think it's a 2010 edition of a camera, maybe even older. Um, and the quality obviously was very questionable so I actually just on a whim went and ordered a new camera and this is her but I do have a bit of a vlogging history with my iPhone. I find it easier to just um, talk into a camera as opposed to a phone, I don't know what it is, I feel like you don't have to psych yourself up as much. Sorry I'm filming in the mirror so I'm not sure what the quality is like but I'm getting used to the whole viewfinder camera thing. Anyway, I thought I'd play with it a little bit before I go out. Um, I just got back from the gym and uh, now I need to go to the library because I've got a few writing deadlines I've got to get done, one being tomorrow. And I'm at high risk of getting back into bed, so I think I need to take myself out and do some work. Um, somewhere that's not my bedroom. So I'm gonna go and do that now. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to figure out if there's a filter on this, like a skin smoothing filter. I look very, um, face tunes. What time is it? It's five o'clock. I've been sleeping for the majority of the day. Yesterday, when I got back from the library, um, me and my sister went out to a fashion event. It was a London Fashion Week event for smaller businesses. So it was a bit of a catwalk thing and then there were people with a few stalls selling some stuff. Um, we dropped by and then I woke up early this morning. <clears throat> Sorry. I woke up early this morning because I um, didn't finish the work I wanted to get done yesterday in the library. So I had to do that. Got that work done literally rolled over and went to sleep <laughs> for about an hour or two. I've got more work I could be doing today, but I'm just gonna give myself the evening, I think, and then tomorrow I'll probably spend most of the day in the library. So now I'm going to the nail shop. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if you can, is it gonna focus? I don't know if it's gonna focus, but I think you can get the gist of what's going on with my nails at the moment. It's a very light color, so you can't quite see how much they've grown out, but they have, and I've got somewhere I need to be um, in the latter part of this weekend and I don't feel like doing it tomorrow. It is around the corner from the house, hence why I look a bit like an Eskimo um, and it's getting colder now, so I've got a scarf and a hoodie on. Ooh, hug me. So I'm gonna go and do that now. I need to get my toes done as well. It's been like two months since I've done my toes. So it's gonna be the whole shebang. Grab a little bit of dinner. Probably finish watching Lost. Lost on Netflix, that old two like early 2000s show. I'm concerned that this um, camera is going to die because the battery isn't. I don't want to speak it out, but I feel like the battery is not that great. So yeah, I'm going to go now. Um, I kind of want a coffee, but it's 5 pm. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. I'll just settle with some water. Um, yeah.
Um, I'm at home now. The library was a bit of a mess. Um, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do any work. I sat there for three hours and I um, rewrote the same paragraph like three times. But when I got home, I gave it another go, and I smashed out like half of the um, essay that I'm writing. So I'll figure out the rest of it tomorrow morning. The deadline's tomorrow. I am quite proud. I, I mean, I, I've done something. I was um, ready to throw the towel in, but I've managed something within like. 20 minutes half an hour of being at home versus three hours in the library imagine that but yeah i'm in this state because i'm getting ready to go out now we're going to a another london fashion week event in soho what's the time now it's currently oh i've got my apple watch on it's like um hmm, it's about 6 37 ish so i'm gonna get ready real quick actually because i'm running a little bit late but when i'm talking about doing work i'm talking about writing a newsletter that i write which is like a bi-weekly newsletter well it's actually like a three times a week sort of thing now anyway as of recently but it's a faith and culture newsletter one of them is a devotional like a christian devotional one of them is like a culture essay slash newsletter sort of thing personal essay sort of thing that I described it, I think as troubleshooting an element of the human experience it's just like a relatable essay about one thing or another that I've either experienced across the week or something I'm making like a wider point of relatability out of it um, and then um, the third is a current affairs newsletter which is called the week in news which is just like a rundown of different news stories I've grabbed my eye that have like a similar running theme through them anyway um, it was the essay that I was working on today and I find that essay is the hardest to write with the free. The inspiration is very um, obscure a lot of the time whereas the news newsletter is obviously inspired by current affairs and then the devotional is inspired by the bible. So I don't have time to be talking about this right now um, but I am so I'm just going to quickly get ready as I've said for like the 400th time and then I'm going to head out. If you can hear talking in the background it's my brother yapping on the phone. Um, yeah. It's currently 10 30, 10 26. I got home last night at 3 a.m. But I'm going to celebrate a friend's birthday. She's doing a few activities, and one of them is rock making. And so I'm on my way. <laughs> at least this smooth feel is making me look alive because then when I tell you, I feel so dry behind the eyes right now. I haven't had a coffee either. I feel like it was going to make me feel a little bit ooh. Um, but I've had a peppermint tea. I took my vitamins this morning. I haven't eaten anything. 